Hey what's up guys it's me Monster Tech and this is the Asus Zenfone 2 so I'm back with another video after so many days because there was my exam so now in this video we'll do unlocking the bootloader and installing the TWRP recovery in the next video we will do installing the Sanjay Mode 13 Marshmallow in this device so first of all I will tell you that my device is Asus Z0 AED and it will work both for Z00 AED and AD so make sure you have latest system update because uh, it will need uh, unlocking the bootloader will need a latest system update now go to the software information and tap the bill number seven times and my device is four gigabytes ram version so the 5.5 inch screen with two gigabytes of ram version is the 8d model now enable the usb debugging from the developer option because it will help for installing the twrp recovery now you have to download uh, some of the files uh, which will also cover for the next video but uh, in side by side in between the video i will show you how to download this also so first of all you have to download this unlock app and second uh, this is the twr recovery i have downloaded in the phone but uh, I, will, I will move it to the pc so delete that no need to put in the phone and also this is the gaps so download open gaps x86 6.0 micro and also this is the custom size about 13 don't worry i will show you how to download that in between the video so just i'm showing actually uh, which file needs to download it so now first of all let's see how to download this unlock app so go to the google and type asus so you have to go to asus.com and in actually my country is india so it will open in asus.com slash india in so now go to the product phone and go to the zen phone after going into the zen phone you have to search for your device model and it will work for laser too if uh, unlocking app also available for that and my device is zd551 ml and i open it and now go to the support from the top corner and now go to the drivers and tools after the drivers and tool go to select the android and you can download the stock rom from the firmware here and i will also make a video how to flash the stock rom but later so please be patient for that and also you have to install this usb driver it's very important so that your device will work with pc correctly so install this driver too and here is the utility so you have to download this unlock device app bootloader so it's very small size 700 uh, kb approximately so click on this global and download that so after that you have to put in your phone so i have put it in my phone and click on it and install it so if it says that installation blocked so you have to go to settings and security and enable the unknown sources oops press back uh, wait a second and go to the security and click on this unknown sources so it will allow you to install any third party app so now install this unlock app now click on next next and install so after this install you have to open this so you can see the battery is 90% uh, above so battery must be charged up to 70% or more to do the full process uh, including the installing the custom ROM so now here is the unlock device app now click on it and scroll up and so that we can enable the agree button and now we can enable so now tick mark it and ok so it's showing here message that your warranty will be void you will not get any system update so do it at your own risk so now I'm just unlocking the bootloader here so now scrolling up and then agree and press to unlock your device so it will ask for internet connection so you have to enable the internet connection because it will link with the Asus website and remove your warranty from the online so now click on it unlock and it's just asking for my actually lock screen password so I have entered that so if you don't have any lock screen password so don't worry it will not ask you and it will power off device and go into the bootloader so i'm fast forwarding it so after it will go to the bootloader and it automatically flashes some of the files now it's saying that successfully and rebooting after one second so now it's rebooting so now it's showing here white logo you can see white boot logo means the bootloader has been unlocked so if you want to uh, install back the black uh, boot logo so i will definitely make that video too so you will get your black boot logo back so now the reboot will take time approximately 40 seconds so now i am fast forwarding it so after that now our device bootloader has been unlocked and also 
the apps are here you can see and nothing has been removed so it will not hard reset your device now second is to installing the twrp recovery go to this website www.twrp.me now go to this devices and search for your device so our device starts from asus a letter so it will be on the top so here is the asus zenfo 2 z 551 ml and here is the device uh, code name z0a so you have to click on this primary recommended link and installing the twrp recovery from here so download this top one I have downloaded the top one and also the bottom one because if uh, the top one will not work then I will install that. So you have to install this ADB driver also. So just run as an admin. Link in the description box of this ADB driver so download from that. Now click on Y and enter. Now Y again and enter so it will install drivers. I have already installed so it shows zero files copied. If it's not working then you can install minimal ADB and fast boot. Link in the description box too you can install from that. Now enable the USB debugging if you haven't and connect your phone to the PC. So after connecting the phone to your PC, go to this TWRP recovery folder and now shift plus right mouse click and now type ADB devices. Hit enter. Now it will ask for permission from the phone so you have to check mark it and click on OK. As you can see the white dialog box. Now click on ADB devices again so now it's previously showing unauthorized. No, now it will not showing unauthorized it's showing a device so means it has been authorized now we have to just uh, reboot to the bootloader so now type adb reboot bootloader you can also directly go to the bootloader uh, by turning on the device but it will become too lengthy so it's a shortcut now type fastboot devices so now device showing here now we have to type fastboot flash recovery and name of your recovery dot mg so my name of the recovery is here so i will flash the 3.00 and copy that name and just right click here it will automatically paste don't use control v it will not work so dot img at the end and enter so some of the files are flashed in the mobile phone you can see here some codings are already run and now you can just uh, take out this usb cable also so from the volume keys you have to scroll up and uh, choose the recovery mode and then hit enter uh, by pressing the power button and you can remove this micro usb cable so now our device will reboot in the recovery mode in 10 seconds so now it's asking for the permission so keep system read only or you can write to so i will authorize it so here's the check mark, check mark and also is a swipe so swipe it and it will go for permission so thanks for watching guys hit the subscribe button for more videos and i will back again with the installing custom rom in the zenfone 2 so thanks for watching guys if any problem comment in the comment box i will catch you guys in my next video